Cattle Hyundai of Lakewood is presenting the refreshed 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe and Phantom Black Metallic over black and black interior. I'm going to explain the different features that you get in the different trims. And it starts off with the 18 inch wheels that are standard. When you go into the XRT, which is going to be a more rugged exterior profile, you're gonna have all terrain tires. It's also going to increase the clearance, giving you off-road capabilities and maxing towing for the first time. 4,500 pounds for the Santa Fe. All trims will receive H-styled LED headlights, daytime runnings, and the light bar that integrates into the grille. Matte black will be finished in the front with a touch of satin aluminum. All trims will receive the 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder that produces 277 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque paired to the eight-speed dual wet clutch automatic transmission. So when you're thinking about the 23 opposed to this, you're getting 86 horsepower more and 34 pound-feet of torque more because we now have the standard turbocharged engine. Achieving 20 MPGs for the city, 29 MPGs for the highway. This is a front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive comes standard on the XRT in which they have another little twist. In between the second and third row, there's a little lever so you could pull up to get on top for the roof rails, which are raised. So now you can put tie down similar to Subaru. And because we're getting an increase of towing, payload and the raised roof rails, it's making it a little bit more of an adventure vehicle, even if you don't option the XRT and the exterior profile is gonna have a similar stance to a Land Rover Defender for a fraction of the price. The safety also has been tweaked. So we have a more advanced technology with the front collision avoidance assist, blind spot monitoring, collision warning, rear cross traffic alert with avoidance assistance, lane follow assistance with lane keep assist, rear occupants alert, which means if somebody opens the back door, it's going to alert you when you disengage the vehicle to make sure that everybody's out of the vehicle. Forward attention warning, which is great if you didn't have your coffee and you're going for a longer journey, this is going to kind of wake you up because it will alert you that you're not driving correctly because it's monitoring you with front and rear park assist and the standard H LED tail lights which gives the signature style to the new Santa Fe. Power lift gate, this is standard on all trims. Because we got an increase in length, that also gives us an increase in the cargo capacity and it is an easy entrance the way it is set up. Underneath the floor, get some storage. 12 volt tucked right here. And it's gonna be 14.6 cubic feet at this level. And I have the seats reclined so you can see, pull these levers here and just push it forward, that's gonna increase cargo to 40.5 cubic feet, which is an increase of 4.1 cubic feet. And for the second row, simply push the buttons. This is gonna max the cargo to 79.6 cubic feet, which is an increase of 7.5 cubic feet from the prior gen. Ten way power seat adjustment starts on the SEL. If you want the twelve way, you got to go to the limited. These are H Tech seats. Heated seats start on this six way manual seat adjustment. Standard will be a six way manual seat adjustment for the front with cloth seats. Headroom and leg room. The refresh has increased interior space as well, and you have more storage. So you have storage right here on top of the glove box. Open up this glove box, you got more storage. This does not have the UV sanitizer that's on the limited trim and the ambient lighting as well. It does not have an auto dimming rear view mirror. A moonroof starts on the XRT. The pano will go into the limited trim. 12.3 informational display is going to be standard. Navigation starts on the XRT, wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. A reverse camera is standard, and you can expand that out for the whole screen. 360 on the limited. Voice recognition starts on the XRT. Dual climate control settings for the front, and this is a touchpad here. And to go for the rear, you'll just click here for the third climate control in which you can toggle through here. Driving mode select, this is a standard 4.3 information display for the gauge cluster. 12.3 starts on the limited trim. Leather wrap steering wheel is standard on all trims. Heated 
it comes standard on the limited trim with paddle shifts. And I like that we still have physical buttons here. So if you had navigation, you could click into the maps or you could just use your wireless connectivity in order to do so. Clicking to the home just makes it a lot simplified. And also having the actual buttons to turn on and off the sound system. And the gear lever is now on the steering column and you just flip it back for reverse, flip it forward. His and her wireless charger is only gonna be on the calligraphy. Otherwise, wireless charging pad is standard. USB ports. No 12 volt that will start on the limited trim. Cup holders, it's gonna be more sporty. This opens up this way. You get a storage bin here. You can pick it up that way, but the little center piece will probably fall out because it's an adjustment. So I'll just slide this out of the way in which it goes all the way down. You can fold this out and then you go inwards here. So it has a lot of storage capacity. And the nice thing about this is they do something similar to Infinity, which you'll see in the second row because it opens up from back here. Pass through with a 12 volt right here. And the door panel and dashboard integrate in together. And you have the satin aluminum that's going to boast pretty much the whole top part one touch up and down for the front windows with a medium sized storage pocket and a beverage holder carved out. Headroom and leg room. Storage will be behind both of the front seats. USB ports, home plug starts on the XRT. Slide this open and you got a storage bin. Open this and that's what I was talking about in the front. You can open it from back to front making it pretty easy for anybody sitting into the middle. Cup holders with armrests, sunshade start on the limited trim. And you're gonna have the same materials that's found in the front, a large grab handle, two cup or bottle holders in the top and another one in the bottom. Sliding into the center, the floor isn't completely flat, but you're not really gonna be sharing feet space. Leg, button, shoulder space, just a touch. You do sit up a little bit higher. And because there's no panel or moonroof, headroom isn't an issue for somebody that's six foot three. Enter into the third row, push the button. It's gonna slide forward and that's gonna be the opening to sit two more in the back, which you'll have the third climate control only on the passenger side. USB ports will come into play when you go into the limited trim. The air vents start on this trim. Both will get cup holders on each side. Sliding this back so you can see leg space. This is with it adjusted just a touch. The rails are pushed back, but you're going to be expecting that. There's a little bit of a hump, so you will be sharing a touch of feet space. Not much, because there's only two occupants that's going to be sitting back here. Headroom is actually really good for this size vehicle. The refresh Hyundai Santa Fe, towing up to 4,500 pounds, clearance up to 8.3 inches, standard turbocharge, standard third row. This is now in class with vehicles like the Honda Pilot, in the Toyota Highlander, in which it's smaller, it's not going to tow as much, but 500 pounds is not a huge difference when I'm considering how much money I'm saving going to this, opposed to those variants in which typically this would be compared against a Toyota RAV4 and a Honda CRV. I understand it's only about two inches longer in length, but because of everything you can do, it kind of outperforms those vehicles now, in which this now is a sweet spot when you're looking to option this vehicle the SLE gives you the power seat adjustments you will still get a standard wireless charging pad and wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and look at the performance you're getting so it has the motivation to get you moving the XRT trim is going to be a little bit more of that off-roadsy vehicle, unlocking the navigation. And you're getting a different style interior seats in which all of them are going to be heated for the front except for the SE trim. The limited trim is going to boast the most goodies for under 50 grand. So when you're comparing this against those vehicles like I was stating at the beginning, you can now see the deal that you're getting. And even if you were to compare this to the RAV4 and the CRV, they don't offer third row seats. The hybrid trim is in the works for North America. It's going to be the 1.6 liter four cylinder with a 44.2 kilowatt battery. It will be optioned in front wheel drive or all wheel drive only paired to the six speed automatic transmission. And it's going to have 231 horsepower with 271 pound feet of torque. Stop by today at Gettle Hyundai of Lakewood to check out their new and pre-owned selection.